I'm Lisa and I'm with the Front Range chapter of Wild Ones and today I'm going to give you a couple tips about collecting seed off of our native prairie coneflower. This plant is in the aster family and for asters or plants in that family you do need a decent sized population of plants to get good pollination and good viability for the seed. So if you look around we are in a little prairie area uh, that belongs to my neighbor. I do have permission to collect and in this population there are both red flowering and the yellow flowering um, uh, plants of this species and so uh, the seeds that I collect could be either red, yellow, or uh, a combination of both. So for this plant you can see it's still green at the bottom but some of these seed head stems have dried and you want to go for a nice brittle seed head and then really just a quick strip of the plant uh, will yield hundreds of seeds um, and those I'm going to put into a glass jar. Seeds are alive so you do want them to be able to breathe. So a jar with a lid that is watertight but not airtight is ideal. And then you want to label the jar with the species, both the genus and the species, so the scientific name. I also have the common name, prairie coneflower. I have the location, we're in Centennial, at about 5,800 feet, and that this was growing in full sun, which is what that plant uh, prefers. 